Let's take it over easy. Look at some points props that we got coming up tonight. So Jokic, obviously the points leader is what we'd see. Anthony Davis as well. Then you go to the bottom, D'Angelo Russell, just 10 and a half points. Sam, when you look at the points, you look at the props, who are you thinking over easy? Well, you mentioned Russell. I think he's playing himself out of the rotation. Yeah. I think they need to shake this up. You're going to see a lot of this tonight. You're going to see LeBron and AD pick and roll. That's literally the last thing they can do, right? Let's put them on the same side. LeBron will inbound the ball, you know, bounce it into Davis, and then they're going to do the two-man game. So that's more shots for him, more shots for him, because they're going to inverse and do the, the opposite, which means probably less looks for Reeves mm -hmm. and less looks for D'Angelo Russell. Because this has to be the game where he's going to need 40, 45 points, George. Mm -hmm. So you notice his number, 24 and a half. You look at that one, 26 and a half. And D'Angelo Russell, that's the lowest prop it's been all season on him, or all series for that matter. Yeah. Ten and a half. It's under. I'm going under ten and a half. I'm going under D'Angelo Russell, too. We've seen his minutes, his shots dip. He's been run off the floor, as I just mentioned, what the Nuggets have done with him. But I'm also going to go with the marriage of under ten and a half points for D'Angelo Russell. I'll go over on Austin Reeves, averaging 23 points per game throughout this series. He's their, their best shooter. LeBron trusts him. I agree. Hey, you're going to have to lean on your superstars. And LeBron and AD are going to have to carry it. But Austin Reeves will have to fill it out as well. I think 17 and a half is a low number for him to hit the over. So that's why I think Reeves, when Russell's off the floor will take his shots and his minutes. But I like where you're going there, too, on the superstars as well. I, I don't love this game. I don't think yeah. I'm going to make any bets in it, but I, I'd be surprised if he doesn't go over 24 and a half. This feels like a game where he comes out, scores 35, Lakers lose, and then it's, oh, LeBron didn't have any help. Put it all out the there. The same old tired <laughs> stuff we've been talking about forever with this guy. He never has enough help when he loses, but when he wins, he's the greatest. It's, it's a double standard, and it makes me insane. <laughs> we've been hearing it for how many years? I don't know if we've lost count at this.